Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. We have, ooh, the King of Cups. I read it reversed when it's that way. The Five of Cups and the Five of Wands reversed. Now that feels a bit difficult. Two fives. Um, <sighs> okay, well, let me keep going. I was going to start talking, but I just, I'm not gonna jump ahead and give you five different scenarios. Let's just see what we're looking at here. I will say this doesn't seem like someone who's been in the best place emotionally. We've got the Six of Pentacles reversed. We have the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, Taurus energy there. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles reversed and Temperance reversed, so um, Sagittarius at the end. Okay, it looks to me that this is someone who, um, if it, this is someone who you've just met, this is new, before you met they were dealing with something heavy emotionally if this is someone you've been interacting with for a long long time you may know that recently they've been through something that's been pretty tough and they're starting to come out the other side here i feel like your person wants you to know that right now they're almost in this hermit mode they've been in a period of hibernation self-reflection they've gained a lot of clarity from this and and now they've got this burst of energy around how it is that they want to move forward and with every step they're taking it's like they're getting more confident, self-actualizing to a greater degree. I always feel with this depiction, you know, every step she's taking, she's coming more into herself, you know, defining herself more clearly. Um, interestingly though, the Eight of Wands, very quick energy, but we've got snails at the top. So <laughs> I don't know if they or you have been feeling like this, this supposed quick energy has actually been taking some time. Um, we can also, you know, feel like she's trying to push her way through this barrier here. So there's, there have been some obstacles. Five of Cups, one of the obstacles might be a tendency towards pessimism or expecting the worst or just not realising the good that's been around this person, um, specifically in relation to your connection, maybe looking at the obstacles or what they feel has been lost or... Um, allowing their fears to rule them versus their hopes and what could be and what's available and um, you know the future and, and potential ahead of you both. Um, I, a lot of this feels like what your person wants you to know today is is what's been going on around them that doesn't directly tap into your connection. So I think if they have been quiet or they've disappeared or they've seemed down or guarded, it's almost like they're saying, this is why. It's not about you or our connection. It's about what's been going on around me. There's been almost like noise, lots of other people, lots being pulled in different directions, feeling kind of low as swell at the same time. So let's unpack this a bit. Let's see what's been going on and the changes they've made. I feel, oh, okay, Spirit's telling me, yes, the snails versus the quick energy of the five of wands. Uh, sorry, not five. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. Eight of wands. It's almost like this person was hoping something would get off the ground more quickly um, or that it wouldn't have taken this long or they'd have seen some sort of success by now. Now, I did say the five of wands, which we do have. So it could have been the interference of other people that were causing delays um, in some way. Okay, let's see the hermit exactly they've been in hermit mode we've got virgo energy here um they could have been focusing on things like health work um even family here we've got justice reversed libra and the two of pentacles reversed yeah it's a feeling of it's a bit unfair because i've pulled my weight i've got my plan in order and i've stuck to it but because of other people messing about or not being clear they've caused delays that doesn't feel right somehow what's this card the knight of swords but now they're moving forward more quickly it's really interesting because we go from this energy of almost maybe no movement into okay you know it's like imagine someone who is asleep completely asleep their alarm goes off and instead of you know groggily waking up turning it off and, and getting out of bed it goes off they turn they turn the alarm off, they jump out of bed, and suddenly they're sprinting out of the house down the street. It's <laughs> it's from nothing to everything, um, but it doesn't feel forced, which is, you know, that sort of, I think, leans in as well to this message that, that the delays have been outside of this person. They've been ready to move at a quicker pace for, for a while now. We have the Hierophant. So yeah, we're looking at some kind of, um, contract or commitment so yeah work family it could be a relationship um maybe they were hoping and this might sound cold but perhaps they were hoping to be out of a relationship 
already or to, to have wrapped things up like after a breakup or something already um, could be to do with I'm hearing signing a contract around a home so maybe it's renting somewhere or something like that um, <clears throat> yeah other people messing up but I don't know if they've cut these other people out um, they found a way to work around them all these other people have finally sorted themselves out but I feel that that obstacle it doesn't exist anymore um, Six of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, and Temperance in reverse. There's a message here that they haven't been able to make the offer to you or give you the time, attention that they would have liked and that they know you would like probably and deserve, at least not in a consistent way. So you may see them here and there, they may be checking in here and there, if at all, but it's not, it hasn't been regular and there's been an imbalance in terms of maybe how much effort you've put in versus how much effort they've put in, um, at least recently and in this kind of overt 3D way. I do see that they have been thinking of you this whole time, um, but obviously, you know, even if you can pick up on that and feel it, it's not really the same as overt visible action. Um, I feel there's something they do need to heal and balance out within themselves, but to be honest, I'm not sure they're going to fully do this before reappearing or taking some kind of action, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but let's see. Depends what it is, really, that needs balancing. Strength, Leo, energy there. This person's very passionate about you. Um, and I, I'm not seeing at least yet that we're, we're thinking mainly in like a sexual kind of way and of course yes that could be part of it but they're passionate about you as a person the whole of you the whole of the situation um yeah okay we have the emperor aries energy and we have the ten of wands reversed what's this trying to sneak out the four of pentacles reversed so they're re they are releasing whatever's been weighing them down which we see um it has they haven't completely released it yet but the thing is they're entering yeah this, this this energy of a quicker pace feeling very in control in charge wanting to come in and be in charge of the next steps in this situation so to make a definitive offer to suggest a concrete plan to show up in a way that isn't flaky it's it's more consistent also with strength in the emperor, I do wonder if they really had to push through to achieve something and they now are in emperor status, they have achieved it, whether it's something to do with work, study, home, you know, whatever it is, some sort of self-mastery. And it wasn't exactly the easiest process, especially at the end when things got a bit hectic and crazy, but they've done it. Um, so they feel they've done enough now that they can take some sort of next step here, even if it's not that everything has been perfectly resolved. Okay, so I know we, sh we, we might not get really a super clear answer because many different people are watching, but I am interested in what might this next step be, perhaps what are they going to offer, what's their intention here, um, so let's just see if we can get any ideas. Oh my gosh, perfect, that was in my head. Not because I, I, I don't think I sensed it was going to come out. I just sort of feel like if we want a good solid offer, the Ace of Pentacles is a nice thing to have, you know? And here we are, the Ace of Pentacles. So I will leave it at that because that tells us it is something in the 3D. It is something tangible. It can be trusted. And it's a really good opportunity that can be grounded and can grow into the Ten of Pentacles if you both want to see it through to the Ten. Um, it's not something flaky. It's not something that's just going to sit in their heart space that they're not going to vocalise. This is this is really, you know, the thing. So, you know, depending on your situation, it could be reaching out and saying, do you want to spend time? It could be a proposal it could be um do you want to team up and start this project together i don't you know it depends on your specific situation but it's something new it's something solid it's something of value and um yeah tangible something important to them that i think will be important um to you as well okay so let's go into the message cards so let's see Oh my gosh, exactly. I plan to call or visit within a matter of weeks if all goes as planned. I'm having to do a lot to get ready and don't want you to know I'm coming, so please just be happy and know I'm on my way. 
I fully believe that based on, you know, the tarot messages that we've had. Absolutely. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay. They're planning around this Ace of Pentacles. As I said, they've been incredibly busy. I feel that they've had a break in this, this hectic schedule or they've finally achieved something. What else, please? Um, I, okay, I feel like you don't know who I really am. Um, I'm catfishing you, but I've fallen in love with you. So I'm to the point, I know I need to tell you my true identity and I'm dreading you won't love me once you know. Um, so maybe this is someone online who is actually catfishing you. So definitely try and sort of do a video chat with them or something as soon as you can to make sure they are who they say they are. Um, but this could just be someone who's saying, you know me at a distance or you don't know who I, you know, you don't know all of me and I'm worried that once we get closer or once I make this offer, if you accept it, you might see other parts of me. So just someone really who's nervous, I think, um, and wants you to think very well of them, but might have some parts of themselves that they don't like so much. Okay. Don't underestimate the power of our love. Ooh, romantic. <laughs> Expect a miracle. Okay, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, well, this sounds great, but it would take a miracle, or they're saying, yeah, don't underestimate the power of our love. Do not underestimate my determination. Um, yeah. Okay, I could really use some consistent messages of love while I go through some tough stuff. Please hold my hand from a distance while I get over this hump. I'll explain later. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's move on to our next deck. So this deck is Amy Satori's deck. She has a YouTube channel under the same name. Okay, um, I want you to trust me. Trust that I will know the right time to take things to another level. Okay, I need to pause here because I think I've had a song in my head all day by another level, which is a really creepy coincidence. Let me just check and I'll be back. Okay, yes. And this, this is a ridiculous coincidence. So please, you must go and look at the lyrics to this song or listen to this because... Um, I didn't know why it was in my head and it's come up here so yeah so the um what, what are they a boy band um another level the song is called freak me and the specifically what's been in my head is um let me i feel awkward reading this but <laughs> let me lick you up and down till you say stop um yeah, so I think you can see their intentions there, but that specifically um, has been in my head over and over, round and round. So please, you know, for the sake of me having to hear that in my head all day, go and <laughs> look at the song uh, lyrics if you don't want to listen to it. Okay, so. Um, I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. So perhaps that's what's been going on. And some of these people that it seems like your person is pulling away from or cutting out um, are people they feel that they were just, you know, doing handstands to try and please and they were getting nothing out of those situations. I am learning that I, I can still have a great life without you. Okay, so how I feel, you know, that's sitting with the uh, Hermit card and this feeling of them being withdrawn is that they've been working on themselves, getting themselves into this Emperor status, um, you know, not leaning on you, not sort of being codependent or anything like that. And we have, can I trust you to not break my heart again? Okay, so wow, for some of you, you know, maybe you know that's, that message is exactly as it sounds and there's been heartbreak here. Um, for others of you, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has maybe recently suffered some kind of heartbreak or you know that when you first encountered them, that's something that they, they had experienced and, and maybe haven't quite healed from. And they're finally saying, okay, I'm, I'm really gonna do it now. I'm pushing through, you know, to the other side. Okay, so let's get our next deck. 
I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. I'm a better person because of you. Oh, karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. Okay. Being apart has been life changing for me and we have a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Yeah, so they've really been doing some good work. Um, if there's been a separation here or, you know, as I said, if they've been um, less present or vocal than they usually are. Oh, I forgot the order I was going to do this in. Never mind, we can do the therapists in a minute. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. For some of you, this heartbreak might be something they did to you and then karma came for them and they've also realised a lot during the separation and they're realising, you know what, I actually sabotaged us and myself and now I understand why because I've been, you know, self-reflecting so I know that I won't be doing that again. We have responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Yeah, and I see, you know, the tarot cards. I saw both um, work, concerns, finances and also emotional stuff as well. Confusion. I feel unclear about where we stand. Okay. I'm hearing, well, you've got to speak up then, haven't you? So maybe some of you are thinking you don't need to be unclear, but you, you've just got to say something. We just need to have a conversation. Um, unappreciated. I felt like you didn't care. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Perhaps that's why we've got this feeling of someone who is completely asleep, suddenly sprinting out of bed with no in-between warming up period because they feel like they're running out of time. Okay, so... maybe a couple of these um for some of you a raven could be um significant to this connection your person or to you even i'm hearing even as a name i don't know if someone's name is raven or they have like um, a name that they go by Is there anything else? Ooh, okay. So let's see. Oh wow, look at this. Your struggle is not an indication of failure. Yes, there's been big struggle recently. They were definitely trying to achieve a particular goal, which I do think they will have success with if they haven't already just had it. Um, even if there was a setback, and I don't think the setback or the perceived failure was actually necessarily because of them. I feel there was there was something going on around them. And we have, you will survive this. Yeah, um, so definitely they've been through a difficult time. Trying to push through, achieve something, reach some kind of goal. Okay, so let's do these love hearts. How should we do them? Um, okay, let's... Put them into this wooden box and shake them up. Oh! Um. <laughs> uh, okay, they've literally gone everywhere and some of them have broken. Maybe that's how we'll do it. We'll just look at what's left, you know? Spirit's been very clear with this message, perhaps, and we only get four. Right, let's see what we have then. Oh my goodness, we have I'm Shy. <gasps> I'm hearing a song. It's kind of rude. Um let me i'll just tell you <laughs> the artist and title because you know you can go and look it up um but there's a bit in the song where she's like i'm shy and then laughs because she's clearly not shy um but yeah you have to you have to listen to it or read the lyrics to know what i'm talking about um so please do how will i find it um 
It's called Slumber Party and it's by Ashniko. Ashniko? I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, type in Slumber Party lyrics and that should bring it up. But yeah, so this, you know, that could be, there could be a message in that song for you or maybe this person is actually just shy. We have Sorry. I'm holding these up. I don't think you can see a thing, but you know. <laughs> We've got Hello. Maybe that song by Adele. And we have marry me question mark so yeah for some of you that ace of pentacles could be leading to marriage long-term commitment um it could be a proposal but yeah this person definitely has serious intentions um now okay i'm gonna go around my room and try and find all of these love hearts but thank you for watching. Um, if you feel so inclined now or at a later point, please do check out the um, link to the Vimeo reading in the description box. As I said, even if just to watch that first 15 minutes, because it could be, you know, very validating or healing for you. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. I hope there were messages here for you in this reading and I hope I will see you soon. Bye.